Master bless.
salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Attitude, our Metropolitan Tecon, for His Grace Bishop Alexis, for the Honorable Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the Right Reverend Abbot of this Holy Monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord this country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thank you. 
Blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. In the 
forth song. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities, showing forth an increase of asceticism, thou didst receive from God an outpouring of spiritual gifts, to heal infirmities and dispel demons. O most blessed Oxentius, faithful to the calling of Christ, and full of divine grace and the power of the Spirit, wherefore manifestly guided thereby thou hast attained unto the calm harbor. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye peoples. Having cleansed thy mind, thou wast enriched with the grace of healings and miracles. For thou didst shake off the weakness of the passions, and the darkness and threefold waves of the flesh, and its fashion splendid spiritual arms. Wherefore thou hast shone forth among the ranks of monastics, entreating him who loveth mankind in behalf of those who praise thee. For his mercy hath prevailed over rocks, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Thou didst increase the talent entrusted to thee, O Allah, one, and having richly worked the soil of thy soul, and sown it with tears, thou dost now reap in joy, O Father, truly harvesting manifold joy and consolation. Wherefore, as one who hath boldness before the Master, entreat him in behalf of those who hear thee, O not bearing oxen. Oh. 
hath come to the setting of the sun, and the world the light of evening. We praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For meet it is at all times to worship Him with voices of praise. O Son of God and giver of life, therefore Bishop Alexis, and for all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all of his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy habitation, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
by descending to hell and rising on the third day, thou hast granted the world life and great mercy. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, unto the length of days. Thou didst endure death, O Christ, to deliver the race of man from death. Thou didst rise from the dead on the third day, raising with thyself those who knew thee as God, and enlightening the world. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the will of the Father, through the Holy Spirit and without seed, didst thou conceive the Son of God. He was begotten of the Father before eternity without a mother. But now, for our sake, he was born of thee without a father. Never cease entreating him to deliver our souls from God. Lord, now let us love thy Oh, Lord, 
the Lord and for them forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord and for them forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord and for them forevermore. Bless me, the Lord, you have in this grace and love in my heart, always known them to ages of angels. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are stuck fast in me, <coughs> and thou hast pressed thy hand heavily upon me, for there is no health in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins, for mine iniquities have gone over my head, and they have weighed down upon me like a heavy burden. My wounds sank and festered in the face of my foolishness. I was wretched and bowed down until the end. I went mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with insults, and there is no health in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hidden from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me. Even the light of mine eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew near and stood before me, and the, my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought my soul took to violence, and they that sought evils from me spoke empty things and devised deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, heard not, and was as a speechless man, not opening his mouth. And I became as a man that hears not, and whose mouth has no reproof. For in thee, O Lord, have I hoped. Thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Let my enemies never rejoice over me. For when my feet were shaken, they spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my grief is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity and be sorry for my sin. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. And they that reward evil for good have slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Attend unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee at dawn. When my soul has thirsted for thee, how often has my flesh longed for thee in a barren and trackless and waterless land. So have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled with, with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. If I remembered thee upon my bed at dawn, I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me, but they sought after my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth, they shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword, they shall be fortunes for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God, everyone that swears by him shall be praised, for the mouth of them that speak unjust things is stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast been my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has cleaved to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and cry thine ear to my supplication. 
for my soul is filled with evils, and my life has drawn nigh unto hell. I have been counted with them that go down to the pit. I have become as a man without help. Be among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thine anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy waves upon me. Thou hast removed mine acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up and have not gone forth. Mine eyes are weakened from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou work wonders for the dead? Or shall physicians raise them up that they shall praise thee? Shall any one tell of thy mercy in the grave and of thy truth in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor and in, trouble, in troubles from my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled and distressed. My wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water. All the day long they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and tie thine ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thy iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that the, thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all them that are wronged, he made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous of mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has strengthened his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows our fashioning, he has remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like the grass, as a flower of the field shall he flourish. For the wind passes over it, and it shall be no more. And no longer shall it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. And his righteousness to children's children, to them that keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength to do his word, hearkening to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life to the earth. He has set me in dark places like those long dead. And my spirit was despondent within me. My heart within me was troubled. I remembered days of old. I meditated on all thy deeds. On the works of thy hands did I meditate. I spread forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts for thee like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit has failed. Turn not thy face from me, lest I become like them that go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I have lifted my soul up to thee. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled unto thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. In thy righteousness thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy thou wilt lay waste my enemies, and thou wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. His beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We'll give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, the for his Lord mercy and forever. Has himself to us. Blessed is he that All nations compassed me round about, but in the name of the Lord have I driven them back. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name. Revealed as a 
citizen of the deserts, an angel in the body and a wonder worker, thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength, glory to him who crowned thee, glory to him who through thee grants healing to all, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. At Gabriel's salutation rejoice, the Master of all took flesh in the old Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of creation, the creator of all that exists, and in himself he has restored our nature which had become corrupt. No longer dost thou have dominion, O death, for the master of all has destroyed thy realm. Arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted up, forget not the poor forever. Having tasted the fruit of death, O Lord, thou didst cut off the bitterness of death by thy resurrection, and hast strengthened man against it, revoking its curse. O Lord, defender of our life, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Awed by the beauty of thy virginity, and the exceeding radiance of thy purity, Gabriel stood amazed and cried to thee, O Mother of God, what praise may I offer thee that is worthy of thy beauty? What, by what name shall I call thee? I am at a loss and am filled with awe, but I shall greet thee as I was commanded. Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace. Praise the name of the Oh, uh -huh. 
the angel who shone as lightning within the tomb to the murmuring women. Behold the tomb and understand that the Savior is risen from the grave. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The women bearing sweet smelling ointment hasten early in the morning to thy tomb. But the angel appeared before them and said, The time for lamentation has ceased, we not. But tell of the apostles of the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy stuff. Yes. 
risen and in the graves. Know that the unchanging has changed corruption. Say to God, how awesome are thy deeds, for thou hast saved the human race. Thou didst deliver the captivity of Zion from Babylon, a word. Draw me to from the passions to life. Those who sow in the south with tears inspired by God will reap in joy sheaves that endure forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit comes the healing of all as he shines with the Father and the Son, in him all things live and move. The ten wisdom, the Brokimon, the third tone, say among the nations that the Lord is King, for he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. Say among the nations that the Lord is King, Establish the world so that it shall never be moved. Sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Say among the nations that the Lord is King, for he has established the world so that it shall never be
And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Of the holy and 
righteous ancestors of God, your King and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken to us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, it was God who cursed the earth to bear thorns as fruit through the sweat of the transgressor, and in the flesh he received a crown of thorns from the hands of the transgressors of the law. He has now abolished the curse, for he has been glorified. And glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord, he of whom death was afraid has appeared as a vanquisher and the victor over death, for having assumed living flesh, subject to suffering, and contended against the tyrant, he has raised up all with himself. He is our God, for he has been glorified. Most holy Theotokos, save us. On the rec oh, the reconciliation which took place within thee, O Virgin, for he who abundantly bestows gifts has, as God, given us the divine spirit, having received flesh from thee, O Maiden, for he has been glorified. Venerable Father, Saint Jews, pray to God for us, having increased thy love for God and forsaken worldly love, O God-bearing Father, accent to use, thou hast shown to be a vessel containing the gifts of the Spirit. Venerable Father, accent to pray to God for us, that it submit to the easy yoke of the Lord in thy desires, O Father, accent and watering the ground with thy tears, that it renew the earth, O right wondrous one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, having withdrawn from the tumult of life, and diligently united thy soul and mind to God, O most blessed one, with mighty ascetic feats thou didst live on earth like one of the incorporeal ones. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Through thee, O mistress, hath the unapproachable descent of Christ as God and man now been seen. For he was born of thee as God and man, O pure one, restoring my nature. Lord of nothing, thou didst bring forth all things, creating them by thy word and perfecting them by the Spirit. O sovereign and most high, in thy love establish me. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. The crafty one was confounded by thy cross, for he fell into the pit which he dug. But by thy resurrection, O Christ, thou didst raise up the lowly. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord. The preaching of piety to the nations covered them like the waters of the sea. O thou who lovest mankind, for having risen from the tomb, thou didst reveal the light of the Trinity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. As foretold by the prophets, the virgin sprung forth as the rod of the root of Jesse. And from her, O Christ, thou hast blossomed forth as a flower for us. Holy art thou, O Lord. Venerable Father, saint you pray to God for us, strengthened by the power of the cross. Thou didst set at naught the assaults of the demons and destroy the snares, vanquishing their onslaught by asceticism. O Venerable Father, saint you pray to God for us, emulating the life of the angels of Father, saint Thou didst diligently pass through a life which was pure in prayer and mighty in vigil. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, perceiving pleasure to be deadly poison aimed at man's soul, O God-bearing and venerable Auxentius, by, abs by abstinence thou didst mortify its movements. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. He who in the beginning formed me a man out of dust, formed himself in thy womb for my sake, <coughs> O most immaculate one, setting aright our ancient fall. As thou art a living and abundant 
spring, establish all theos, all coastals who sing thy praise, forming a spiritual chorus, and in thy divine glory count them worthy of crowns of glory. Begin and begin in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Creating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Count thy feats, or the pangs which thou didst receive on earth, O Father, following the laws of the Lord for godly delight in serving his commands, that it hast been revealed to us as a new Job in thy struggles, to the world that it's appear as a sojourner, and to all the earth as a stranger, with faith thou didst blossom forth in fasting, and didst teach vigilance and purity, O sacred Father Oxentius. Having abandoned all earthly things while in the world, of the body thou wast in spirit a converser with the angels, for mortifying the passions of the body thou didst show thyself to be a favorite of the Trinity, O blessed one. Wherefore thou healest the sufferings of the infirm, and with grace dost expel evil spirits by thy word alone. O God-bearing Father Oxentius, entreat Christ God that he grant remission of transgressions unto those who honor thy holy memory with love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O undefiled, pure, immaculate mistress, thou cloud of the noetic sun and golden candle stand of the divine light, with the radiance of dispassion illumine, I pray thee, my soul, which hath been benighted by the blindness of the passions, with torrents of compunction and tears of repentance, watch clean my defiled heart and cleanse me from the mire of my wicked deeds, that I may cry out to thee with love. O ever virgin Theotokos, entreat Christ God that he grant me remission of transgressions, for thee do I, thy servant, have as my hope. O Lord, in thy mercy thou didst withstand wounds and the scourge, O Christ, and didst endure the malice of blows to thy cheeks, and in long suffering thou didst allow thyself to be spat upon, thereby accomplishing my salvation. Glory to thy power, O Lord. And glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou didst partake of death in the mortal body, O life of all, for the sake of the suffering of the poor and the groans of the destitute, and having brought corruption upon the corrupter, O glorious Lord, thou didst resurrect all with thyself, for thou hast been glorified. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thou art my portion and desired inheritance, O Lord, for having become a person in the flesh and the virgin, thou hast united me in to thy hypostasis, O word. Venerable Father Oxentius, pray to God for us. Having with prayer made thyself steadfast against the torrents of iniquity, O most blessed one, thou didst flee to turmoil, and as is meet, thou didst drink of the torrent of sweetness, O most blessed one. Venerable Father Oxentius, pray to God for us, causing thy faith and love for God to grow, God bear. Thou didst mount to the lofty heights of belonging to God, crying out, Glory to thy power, O Lord. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Manifest in knowing thee to be of to be her who gave birth to God the Word in the flesh. All of us, the faithful, truly call thee the Theotokos, having thee as a title appropriate to the nature of things. Thou hast given over to an unjust judge, O beholder of all. 
righteousness has delivered ancient Adam from condemnation. And glory for the holy resurrection of the Lord, for Christ who has risen from the dead, and rend the, thy peace to the churches through the invincible power of the cross, and save thou our souls. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thy Son, the Lord Jesus, the Word of God, a perfect hypostasis in two natures, O Virgin, is perfect God and perfect man. Then, O Father, accept his pray to God for us. With keen intellect and purity of soul, thou didst go unharmed over the stumbling blocks of the path of Father. Venerable Father, Accentius, pray to God for us. Through grace, O Accentius, was thy life radiant, thy faith orthodox, thine abstinence wondrous, and thy discourse temperate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with evenness of thought, thou didst pass through life, O Father, passing over transitory things, and ever cleaving to those things which are eternal. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Possessed of a mind full of radiant doctrines, with love we all bless thee, and call thee the Theotokos, O pure one. of mercy and compassion has surrounded me through thy loving descent. For having become incarnate and taken the form of a servant, O Master, that it's deify me, glorify me with thyself. Glory to the holy resurrection of the Lord, the murderer was slain, beholding alive again him who had died. Glory to the resurrection of Christ, glory to thine all pure, death-destroying passion. Most holy Theotokos, save us. All pure lady, deliver me from the abyss of sin and from the storm of the passions. For thou art a calm haven, an abyss of miracles, for those who flee to thee with faith. Then, O oh, Father, our Oxentius, pray to God for us. Thy love, a blessed one, showed thee to be a child of the light of the day, and truly walked nobly, and had the word of life as a beacon amid the world. Venerable Father, Oxentius, pray to God for us. Having made thy life an instruction in how to die, and understood how... Excellently the limitations of wisdom, O Father, thou didst offer thyself to the hypostatic wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. We know thee to be the temple and bridal chamber of God, the jar, the lampstand, and the tablet which has inscribed thereon the word, who in his loving kindness became incarnate. As we celebrate the sacred and solemn feast of the Father of God, let us come clapping our hands, O people of God, giving glory to God who was born of her. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Liberating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o today and in unity of mind sing the praises of Christ our God who he has raised up from the grave the prisoners of death all of creation rejoices offering worthy hymns to our deliverer the creator of all for having delivered men from hell today as the bestower of life he has exalted them to heaven with him he has cast down the arrogance of the enemy he has smashed the gates of hell by the divine majesty of his power As a whole, God is refreshed with it to the three godly youths in the Chaldean flame. So with the enlightening of thy God, illumine us all so as we cry, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. 
resurrection, O Lord. The splendid veil of the temple was torn in two at the crucifixion of the Creator, revealing the truth hidden in the scripture unto the faithful who cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. And glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord, when thy side was pierced to Christ with the drops of thy divinely flowing and life-giving blood, which fell upon the ground according to thy design, thou didst restore those on earth who cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O thou who art the Lord of glory, who governs the heavenly hosts, who art enthroned with the Father and art upborn in the arms of the Virgin, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Venerable Father, our saint, you pray to God for us, in that thou wast wounded by the divine love of the Master, Father, thou didst direct towards him all the unremitting love of thy heart, crying out, Blessed art thou in the temple of the glory, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, illumined with the radiance of the Savior, O most wise one, thou didst sternly rebuke the prince of darkness, and hast cast down the prince of this world, crying, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. And now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen, desiring to restore a higher plane human nature, which of old had become corrupt, God the Creator made his abode within thy womb, only pure one and most hymned one. O Lord, the splendor of the temple passed into shadow when thy cross was planted on Golgotha, and creation fell down in fear, singing, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, praise and exalt him supremely forever. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord, thou didst rise from the tomb of Christ, and by thy divine power didst set aright him who fell by being deceived into eating of the tree of old. And now he cries aloud, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, praise him and exalt him supremely forever. Most holy Theotokos, <clears throat> save us, being close to God as his mother, thou didst surpass the noetic ranks. We bless thine offspring, O blessed Virgin, and exalt him supremely forever. Venerable Father, our saint, you pray to God for us, turning holy to God, thou didst shake off a ready inclination towards the passions and didst receive the ability to work miracles, chanting, Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord. Thou dost show thyself to be dreadful to the demons, having acquired Christ as thy helper, whom, taking up thy cross, thou didst follow, chanting, Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Now and ever in the three ages of ages, amen. The archangel appearing holds forth in speech and announces the ineffable, the ineffable conception of thine offspring, who saves the world, all pure one, all your works, blessed all, and him of the Lord. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him throughout the Praise the Lord, all his works, and highly exalt. 
heaven to his posterity forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, hail, focus, we magnify thee. Through is the splendor and fitting for God, for through the closed gates of the virgin, the Lord clearly passes, naked when he enters it. He comes forth as God clothed in flesh, even as the gate remains closed. We magnify her as ineffably the mother of God. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. It is fearful to behold thee, the creator and word of God, lifted up on the tree, God suffering in the flesh for his servants, and lying in the tomb breathless, yet releasing the dead from hell. Wherefore, O Christ, we magnify thee as almighty. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord, placed dead in the tomb, thou didst save the forefathers from the corruption of death, and resurrecting the dead, thou didst cause life to blossom forth, leading human nature to the light, and closing it with divine incorruption. Therefore, we ever magnify thee as the light and life. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The pious faithful can never have enough of thy praises, O Virgin. For ever receiving divine and spiritual longing through love of thee, we magnify thee as the mother of God. Venerable Father, I send to you, pray to God for us. By that baptism, thou didst promise thyself to the whole Godhead of Father. Thou didst maintain the dignity of the image of God in purity, and with gladness has made thine abode in thrice radiant splendor. Venerable Father, I send to you, pray to God for us. Let us now behold the light of the Godhead, now in indistinct not in indistinct images, or in a reflection, O most wise Father, but face to face, being ineffably vouchsafed the radiance and vision of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, in that thou hast great, great boldness before the King of all, O Father. Pray that we, who now celebrate the memory, may be delivered from evil, every evil circumstance, that we may all call thee blessed. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Loose thou the bonds of my transgressions, O Virgin Theotokos, who givest birth to the wellspring of compassion, and fill us with consolation. O thou who alone art blessed of God, that we may magnify thee as is meet. Let the mortals born on earth carry torches of spirit before joy. And let the nature of the bodiless ones keep festival, and honor the holy feast of the Mother of God, and let them cry, Rejoice, O blessed and pure Theotokos, ever virgin. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, and most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
to believe that Christ is risen, for he revealed himself to Mary and was afterwards seen by those walking in the village of Emmaus and again appeared to the eleven initiates of his mysteries as they lay in hiding, sending them forth to baptize, and he was upborne into the heavens from whence he had descended, confirming his preaching by manifold signs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thou didst turn away from earthly happiness as from defilement, and having caused thy flesh to wither through fasting, thou didst restore the strength of thy soul, O Venerable One, and was made rich with heavenly glory. Wherefore, O glorious one, cease not to pray to the Lord for us all, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Son, who has shone forth today from the tomb like a bridegroom from a bridal chamber, making hell captive and abolishing death, through the supplication of her who gave thee birth, thou hast sent down light upon us, a light illumining our souls and hearts, a light which directs all to walk in the paths of thy precepts in the way of peace. Let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. To the O God is to our song. Praise to the angels of His. Praise
killed and you've set free. Death has been slain and we are given life. Therefore we cry aloud in praise. Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who art the slope. Yes. 
Mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken in, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan deacon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, right Sergius, with all of his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, light, peace, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, pilgrims, and benefactors of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
brethren, the holy glorious of our Lord Apostles, of St. Tikhon of Zidane, our heavenly patron and Tikhon of Moscow, founder of this holy habitation, of the venerable Adventius, priest of Ventia, whose memory we keep this day, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Source of God our King, come let us horsemen fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come let us horsemen fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. I will sing of mercy and judgment to thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way, O when wilt thou come unto me? In the midst of my house I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have set no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart is not cleaved unto me. The wicked man who turned from me I did not know. He who speaks secretly against his neighbor, I have driven him away from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. Mine eyes are upon the faithful of the land, that they might dwell with me. He that walked in a blameless way, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, and I may only destroy all the works of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. The Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, our God-bearing Father, O Sentius, thou wast revealed as a citizen of the desert, an angel in the body, and a wonder worker. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who crowned thee. Glory to him who thee grants healing to all. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven for thou to shine forth, the sun of righteousness. Paradise for thou to blossom forth, the flower of incorruption. Virgin for thou to remain in corrupt. Your mother for thou to hell in thy holy embrace. The son who is God of all, beseech him to save our souls. Order my steps according to thy word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and so I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be full with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Amen. On this day thou didst rise from the tomb, O merciful one, leading us from the gates of death. On this day Adam exults as Eve rejoices with the prophets and the patriarchs. They unceasingly praise the divine majesty of thy power. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou at every season and every hour in heaven on earth, Lord worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who love us to justice, show us mercy upon the sinner, who call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, tell our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, and guide and guarded by their host. 
we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, and without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth thou took us, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. God, be thou to us and bless us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, which illumines and sanctifies every man who comes into the world, let the light of thy countenance be sought upon us, that in it we may behold the light unapproachable, to guide our footsteps aright to the keeping of thy commandments, to the intercession of the Noble Immaculate Mother, and of all thy saints. Amen. <clears throat> Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 